that you know because you say yes. You say, Minister, what do you mean? Yes. If you're going through a shame moment, God will pick you out from that shame. Because why? David faced through shame in his life, but God did not leave him alone. God did not forsake him. He put his trust in the Lord. And the Bible says that in your righteousness, deliver me. God is a deliverer. Amen. God delivers. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So, number one, David is a us. David put his trust in the Lord and God did not put him to shame. Although he was facing a lot of things in his lifetime, but he did not doubt on God because he understood that God guaranteed him victory in every circumstances. That's point number one. Those who are taking notes. Point number one. David faced shame through his lifetime, but he did not doubt on God because he understood the, the God, the God, that God granted him victory in every circumstance. So this means God will give you victory in every. Not He's gonna give you victory in A. Also B, He will give you victory. And C. Hallelujah. Amen. But if you, but the secret is do not doubt of God. If you doubt of God, that's what thing I said. God is able to do. That's why He paid. He will do. He's going to fulfill what? Everything. He Grace is sufficient for you. <laughs> A servant of God said, God, take the stone away. What did God reply to him? My grace is sufficient. Picture that right now. If God tells you that, what are you going to think? You're going to say, hey God, you're crazy. God, I don't get it. But God wants you to get it. Amen. Amen. And then you ask him again, guess what he's going to say? My grace is sufficient for you. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. So, uh, shame is not our portion. Amen. Many of us, we quit just as God is about to bless us. You enter the fluid. God is like, go, 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 go. But you put the gear in reverse. And people back there, they're saying, Jesus, this person is putting in reverse. That's danger. You cannot do that on a fury. On a fury ramp. Put in reverse. God is like, go, go, I got you. You're like, hey, this stone is too much, God. Let me uh, go back. No. God is saying, I'm here, my son. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Put my trust, put your trust on him. Amen. Amen. That's what he did to David. David was saying, was crying out to God. This is a prayer that David was making. Oh Lord, I take my refuge in you. The Bible doesn't say I take my refuge in my salary. The Bible doesn't say I take my refuge in my new car. The Bible says, doesn't say I take my refuge in when I sleep at night and money is entering into my bank account. No. He's putting his, rem- his trust in the Lord. And David knew. See, he said, In you, O Lord, I put my refuge. Let me not be put to shame. So, whatever you ask God, He's going to fulfill it. If you ask God, don't don't let me put, put me to shame. God will never allow. God will not allow you to face shame. Amen. Praise God. So the psalmist, the the psalmist which is David, started the scripture with prayer. What did we just came from? Prayer. We just came from prayer. And that's what David is saying. Pray, seek God, trust God, amen, and don't quit on God. Press on, press on, prayer, 
Pray every day. Every day. Don't skip a day without praying. Because God is going to see you through when you pray. Prayer changes things. Tell your neighbor, prayer changes things. Amen? Amen. Tell your neighbor again, prayer changes things. It has worked for me. When I was reading this verse when I was a little boy, I was saying, God, as you did it to David, do it to me, oh God. Because I was in big trouble. I was in big trouble. But when I came to this verse of Psalm 21, I told God, please help me. Don't put me to shame. I know people are laughing at me, saying that I'm, 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 I'm pretending that I have a condition. But God knew I'm going to use that memory. I'm going to use that weakness for my kingdom. And I'm going to take it to America. Amen. Amen. The one that you saw on TV, the one that you used to go on TV and touch it like this, you're going to touch it like this. Eyes and feet, you're going to feel it. You're going to feel it. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Amen. So God wants you to feel His presence. God wants you to tap under his anointing. God wants you to tap in his presence. If you have time, come cry to God. Because many are seeking. They're telling God, where can I come and worship you? In spirit and in truth. Amen. I was sharing this at a, at a friend of mine who is from Afghanistan. And she's telling me that that it's so hard to mention God in Afghanistan. So hard. So hard. If, if they hear, you're saying God, you're gone. You're gone. It is serious. But he said one thing that touched my, touched, touched my heart. America needs to go back to prayer. America is so blessed, but what they are missing is praying. <laughs> America is what? Blessed, but what they are missing is acknowledging God and praying. That's what they are missing. They are so blessed with, with food, it's plenty. No lack. So the word of God is a no lack. One. You didn't get it. I didn't get it. You didn't get it. Let me repeat it again. Let's have it. The word of God. You like nothing. Tell your neighbor, I like nothing. Because God is by my side. Hallelujah. You like nothing. Because why? You have put your trust in the Lord. He's my rock and my refuge, to which I may continually come. So, point number two, when you come to God, it's not a one-time coming, it's a lifetime. Write that down, guys. Coming, working for God, it's a lifetime work. Lifestyle. That's what David was teaching us. Last day in God is fun. Taking refuge in the Lord, it's fun. Because He is my rock and my refuge. He is my rock. Tell your neighbor, God is your rock. Not Minister Kevin. God is your rock. Not Apostle Martin. God is your rock. And your salvation. And then we told God what? In trying your ear. In other words, listen to my cry. Incline your ear to me. Because why? David was in the mood of prayer. David was praying. David was praying. 
So, this other point, pray without ceasing. Pray without ceasing. Pray without ceasing. Don't skip a moment. As a friend hangs up with a friend, you should spend time with God daily. You should spend time seeking the face of the Lord daily because that's what David was doing. David was like, oh my goodness, I'm going through a lot in life, but I know my Redeemer lives. I know my Redeemer lives and he lives forevermore and he dwells in us and he comes and, re and rescues us. Amen. God is a speedily God. God is a speedily God. Because he had the prayer of David. And David, verse 4, is, you know, is very profound. Verse 4 says, Rescue me, O God, from the hand of the wicked. From the grasp of the unjust and the cruel man. Rescue me, O oh God, from where? From wicked people. People who are plotting to destroy my life. Save me, O oh God. Save me, Jesus. I don't want to die because you have a lot of you have a lot of potential in my life. So these people, they have to go. Last, last time I checked, it's not me to go. It's time to go. You have to be forceful in the things of God. When you see something is not right, God is listening. The atmosphere is changing now. For the miracle of the Lord is here. Hallelujah. Praise God. And 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 Psalms and David was declared. You have to declare. After you pray, declare. Declare. By December, I shall have this job. Declare, by December, I shall have this house. Declare, by December, I shall do great. Hallelujah. Amen. What? The power of your words is in the time. You can either build it or destroy it. Let me repeat that again. You can build your life with words or you can destroy it. So David is saying the importance of building. This is a building here, right? So building, David was building himself. And David was building his trust in the Lord. Because he was like, oh my goodness, these people, they're not going to be well. These people, they're plotting. The Bible says what? Wickedness. The Bible says what? Let me, let me repeat that again. Rescue, verse 4. Rescue me, O God, from the hand of the wicked, from the grasp of the unjust. Meaning, they wanted him to die. Meaning, they were talking bad about David. But David knew, I'd rather lose friends than lose God. I'd rather lose Friends, but God will never lose him. That's why the message is saying God will not put us put us where to shame. So let this prayer be your prayer. Tell God in your secret place, don't let me be put to shame. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Point number four. God formed us uniquely in his image and his likeness. God formed David uniquely in his image and his likeness. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of the Lord. And David was saying, oh my goodness, what God has done for me, I know he will never leave me nor forsake me. I know that I'm going through this fire. I'm going, to, that I'm, that I'm going through these cushions, these 
precautions that I have to isolate for some time because of this disease that I have to isolate for some time because my work job is saying that you know there's some people you know there's some people in life which they don't wish to work they say eh, what my work is earning this money all right we're gonna go to the boss wickedness they say hey good boss yeah America doesn't need this way you know take it out take it out give it to me and you come to work very unhappily and you wonder why the boss not spying at you it's called a fake spy and he turns away and say Braga see me in my office you know oh oh something is not good and why you are people are just laughing you see you see you see i told it i told it our plan works and they give free fist bumps but at night time they're going to call you hey baka i don't know what you ate but i can't sleep why god is overturning the tables god is overturning the what tables And guess what? God is going to overturn the tables, finish with them, go to your boss. And be like, hey, don't touch my anointed one. And don't do him no harm. The Bible says the Lord will lay a table in front of your enemies and the cup will overflow. So they're going to be about open wide, saying, is that when it's a chakra? What? What? Wow. We should start the God of Chato. Amen. We should start the God that Chato serves. Amen. Hallelujah. And what Paul says, "Who your Lord are my hope and my trust, O Lord, from my youth." You didn't get that. Let me repeat again. For you, O Lord, are my hope, must my trust, O Lord, from my youth. So, two things. Number one, hope is in the Lord. Two, trust is in the Lord. Hallelujah. You can't forsake one sentence after another. These two sentences are very important. in the scripture they may say you are my hope and my trust amen hallelujah don't trust on any other god but almighty god amen there's somebody under the sound of my voice who have been asking god are you still my refuge god are you still with me i can't declare over your life he is with you but he wants you to raise up your faith more not a little bit more david rose his faith more yes the enemies were plotting against him but he didn't look that way he said i know my redeemer lives for i know by the mess my redeemer lives hallelujah He knew his redeemer lived. And the, David was confident, you know? Confidence come from God. You know, this reminds me when I was coming from the from uh you know the embassy. I was I was, I was, I was just like I was in prayer, you know? I was in prayer said. I was there in the embassy as I'm questioning, yes, but I was not there at the same time. Me, I was, I was trusting in the Lord. I was saying, God, you are my refuge. Make a way. Make a way. Make a way. And I was praying for others who have been denied outside. And do who say it's outside. I was saying, I was telling them, you are going. Trust God. You are going. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Two questions. My mom ran outside like a crazy woman. The security they asked me, can you call 911? I 
I told them, no. Msijali, mama manaomba. Don't worry, guys. Because you've learned what? In everything, give God what? Thanks. So, my mom was, thanks, was at the corner of Thanksgiving. But the mind of people, they cannot pray for sin. What's happening? Because they can't see what you see. No many people will see what you see. No many people wish you well. Not many people want you to, 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 to try. No many people want you to go far. They are telling me, let's go on and on. I'm telling them, no! Because I have to pay for, the, for their bills and something else. <laughs> <laughs> A is not for free, guys. They're gonna say, all right, so to to the pelek of mama mama hospital is not a lipa. It was called discernment. Discernment. What do you wanna do in America? Go preach. What do you do? What do you wanna do? Go study. And if you if you Go preach, go study. All right, enjoy your life in America. Only two questions. Two questions. What do you want to do in America? I answered, plain So when you come to God, tell him what you need. Tell him what you need. Because why? David told God what he needed. And God supplied what he needed. God told David what he needed. I mean, David told God what he needed. And God supplied what David requested. Okay, let me let me help you. The Bible says, let your request be known unto who. So what did David do? He let his request be known unto who. He didn't say, he didn't go to the wicked people. Hey, wicked, uh, all right, I'll give you a chance. Yeah, help me out. No, because Morgan Maliza, even the ones, they could have finished him more. But he knew the way of the, God made a way for escape for him. I came to declare, God will make a, a way of escape for you. I came to declare, God is going to give you victory. I came to declare, Amen. the potential is yours. Amen. Go burn it. Don't say, don't say, should I, should I not? Should I, should I not? No, you're not. What are not? Should I? Yes. Go, go, go. Hallelujah. Praise God. Pursue or take and recover all. Amen. 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 Pursue means you go for it. Or take it. You go, we take the devil. By recover, recover all the devil stole from you. Tell, tell God, somebody say, I recover all in Jesus' name. Recover all. Tell God, this rainy month of 2022, I shall recover all in Jesus' name. Jesus. This remaining month of November and December, I shall recover all in Jesus' name. Amen. As David recovered all, you shall recover all. Amen? Amen. As I conclude, God is a merciful God. God is a merciful God. You know why? Because for me to be where I am, that I am, I just like, I thank God. Because I was not the way I am today. When I first came to America, my mom was holding everything. I could not hold nothing. And my mom was helped by two, two, two I called them, I called them, you know, I called them uh, angels from the Lord who are behind us. And they saw that struggle. They were like, Mom, I'm going to help with the bug. Because why? God did not allow us to be be shamed. God did not allow us to be shamed. There's somebody behind me. So the struggle that we're doing, going into the customs, 
go into the, into the plane. And they said, let me help you. I don't know you, but let me be your Aaron. God will send arrows into your life to help you out. You have never met them, you have never even talked to them, but they have the heart of helping. They can say, okay, let me take you back. Watch this, I'm going to connect this with this. Jesus said, come to me all who are weary and heavy. So what, what does that mean? God wants you to give him everything. And I, he will give you rest. He will not say, all right, bye. Bye, apostle, bye. All right, bye, bye. Yep, bye. No. You are coming with him. You are coming with him. There's somebody here. You have been toiling with heavy burdens. But God is saying, give it to me. And you are coming with me. Rest. Continue. Pull up shipping. Rest. Hallelujah. Let me be your driver today. Let me take that wheel. Hallelujah. So God took the wheel and David was enjoying the ride. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise be the name of the Lord. I can talk until morning, but please go and review, review, review. Hallelujah. Amen. Go review. Hallelujah. Praise God. Let us stand up on our feet in Jesus' name. There's somebody who has been who is under my voice? You have heard the word. And you're saying, Minister, I would like God to rescue me. Just lift your hands wherever you are, and I'll pray with you. You have heard the word of God. You have heard what David went through. You have heard what he was facing. But his God did not leave him. Your God and yourself, my brother, my sister, He will never leave you. He will deliver you. Amen. Amen. So just raise up your hands. Raise up your hands in the heart of faith. And let's believe this God. Hallelujah. Somebody under the sound of my voice, you have been saying, God, if it's like I'm alone, if it's like my prayer, I'm hitting the ceiling, I can't back down. But God will give you the grace to pursue, to pierce the wall. Hallelujah. Your wall is not going to be here and come back. When the presence goes up, His glory comes down. His healing comes down. His blessings comes down in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I thank you. I worship you, Lord, for your goodness. I thank you for your mercies, O oh God. I thank you for your anointing, O oh God. You are good God. You are everlasting God. As you did it to David, O oh God. My Father, did to us, O oh God. Rescue us, O oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Give us the grace to trust you. Give us the grace to believe in you. Give us the grace, Lord. To don't look back. Not turning back. Not turning back. But to focus ahead. To focus ahead of what you're doing. To focus ahead. Jesus, in the mighty name of the Lord. I pray, O oh God, even those who are out there. Lord, my Father, my Lord. I pray, O oh God, for your goodness. I pray, O oh God, for your mercy. I pray, O oh God, for your grace. I pray, O oh God, for your anointing. Help them, O oh God. And we shame, O oh God, that the, the, the world is praising, O oh God. My Father, I'm lifting. Take it out in Jesus' name. Take all the shame, O oh God. Take all the sickness, O oh God. Take all the pain, O oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus. I declare, declare your glory. I declare, declare your power. Those who are your eyes to use. Those are the hospitals, oh God. I pray for healing in the mighty name of Jesus. From the crown of their head to the soft of their feet, those who are being diagnosed with cancer, tuberculosis, HIV, uh, coronavirus, oh God, my Father. Respiratory illness, oh God. We pray, oh God. May it be. I want you to take a, a minute or two and pray for your kids. 
I want you to take a mirror or two to remember all the kids all over the world. Yes, they are saying that there's this illness affecting the children. But we cancel it in Jesus' name. This illness of God, respiratory illness of God, we cancel it in Jesus' name. It shall not touch our kids. It shall not touch the kids of the world. In the mighty name of the Lord, we refuse every sickness that is on the atmosphere. Turn the atmosphere of God. Turn the atmosphere of Father. My Father, every atmosphere that is, that is unclean. Cleaning of God with healing. Atmosphere with healing. Atmosphere of healing. All over the world in Jesus' name. Atmosphere of breakthrough. All over the world in Jesus' name. We pray for families. We pray for families of God. Unity. In Jesus' name. Let them be like David. Let them trust you like David. Let them inquire from you like David. That God do not put them to shame. Give them victory. Give them grace. Give them wisdom to trust you and believe in your God. Thank you, Lord, for the rain month of 2022. Thank you, Lord, for being with us since January until now, oh God. We are grateful. We are grateful, oh God, for this month of 2022. We are grateful, oh God, because, Lord, as we can say, yet build, oh God. My Father, help us to build. Help us to build our faith as David built his faith. As David inquired from you, as David seeks your face, oh God. Let us seek out your face in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Praise God. Let us let us repeat this prayer for the sake you are here and you're not born again. Please don't miss this chance. Please don't miss this chance of salvation. Hallelujah. We're going to say corporately for the body of Christ and for others who are out there. Say, Lord Jesus, I'm a sinner. Forgive me, Lord. Wash me by your precious blood. I'm sorry, Lord, for the things that I've made that has not made you heart to your God. Forgive me, O God. Cleanse me in Jesus' name. Write my name in the book of life. I am new. I am born again. I was born again. I'm guaranteed the ticket to heaven. I'm guaranteed salvation of God. Thank you for your salvation. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' name. Let's give the Lord a mighty share of praise for the body of Christ which has come back. God bless you all in Jesus' name.